What's up, travelers? In this video, it's the beginning of the Songkram Festival. Around the corner from where I'm staying, there is a big little street festival going on. So let's go check it out and get some street food. So here we got all these little vendor booths and street food booths here. What we got going on here? So we got some, it's like some squids, crab with bacon, meat sticks. Right, we got a bunch of fried stuff here, some tempura stuff, some egg rolls, gyoza, some dumplings, we got sugar cane juice, coconut ice cream, lots of dried fruit, undried fruit, funny looking avocados, Sour sop, durian. Oddly enough, can't really smell it. We got the roti place here. All kinds of crazy stuff here. Got squid eggs there. Oh, okay, this has got those crazy Korean corn dogs here. I guess it's time to figure out what we want for dinner. All of this stuff here is halal. Um, so we are in the Muslim part of town. Found this place here and I ordered some uh, Tom Yum fried rice, a skewer of chicken wings. And this thing looks pretty good, so let's just grab one of these off of here. Uh, yeah. we'll That's a good damn wing. I can tell you that for sure. 
Yeah, it's not overly sweet. It's actually one of the less sweet flavors that I've had here in in Thailand so far. So the sauce is a, it's a really savory sauce. And it definitely gets your fingers all nice and dirty. I also got some pomegranate juice. That's some good stuff. So I total, totally I spent 400 baht. And I think that's because this is a festival, so everything is kind of extra expensive. Let's break into this. Get some of that egg, some of that rice. I'm getting a lot of cinnamon and um, some probably some curry powder in the rice there. Get some nice crispy bits. Let's try one of these shrimp here. I'm guessing that you're definitely going to find better Som Tom fried rice for a cheaper price elsewhere in the city. But, you know, this place is just right around the corner from my hotel. Kind of a special thing because they're gearing up for the Songkram Festival, which just happens to be on my birthday of all days. So uh, I'll be in Pattaya when that happens. From what I understand, there is no staying dry during Songkram. One of the biggest Thai holidays. Big enough that they start celebrating about a week early. So you know, that's what we're doing here. It's definitely worth eating. I don't think it's probably the greatest, but there's probably a lot better seafood uh, street food available, even in, along this this uh, little thing here. However, they all seem to have the same stuff. It wouldn't surprise me if they were all the same company. <laughs> Then we're going to go grab a roti. There was only one roti uh, maker here, but we're going to have to go get some of that. So we'll see you when that happens. I just got this banana roti. We're currently looking for a place to sit down so we can enjoy it. But that seems to be a little bit harder than it should be. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. So we just came in the, into Burger King over here. Hopefully they don't kick us out. I'll probably end up buying something to drink anyway. But here's that first taste of that with banana roti. That is the perfect amount of sweet cinnamon. The, the Thai bananas over here, they have, uh, they're loaded with flavor. They're not like any of the bananas that we get in the States. The ones we get, they're all bland and barely worth eating. But the ones over here, they just explode with flavor. They're amazing. And because of it, it makes the roti one of the absolute favorite things that you can get while you're in Thailand. That's delicious. This is so much better than the fried rice tom yum that, that we had for dinner. <laughs> 
But again, because we were at the Songkram uh, Street Festival, everything was super, super expensive. So this roti, it ended up costing 80 baht, which usually I think you could get it for about 30, 35, 40 baht, if that, maybe even 20 baht. But I'd pay 250 for this in the States without any hesitation. <laughs> Definitely, you come to Thailand, there's a few things that you absolutely have to try. Pad Thai for one, Pad Krapao, banana roti, and of course Thai iced tea. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that you really need to get your sink your teeth into as well. But these are some of the best ones, in my opinion. I mean, this is probably a pretty low quality one, to be honest, and it is absolutely delicious you come to Bangkok to seek out the roti lady she's been making these things for I think 30 years or something like that and uh, she she's so good at it she ended up on, on Netflix's street food tours you know if you've enjoyed this video please like subscribe hit that notification bell if you're into it and as always Eat great food.